Over the last year or so, we've obviously seen a significant decline in the number of private equity transactions getting to closure. Um, there's a huge appetite to do deals, there's a lot of money to be deployed, but the macroeconomic circumstances are rather adverse and I think some you know, binary views are being taken around the Eurozone crisis. Uh, clearly, uh, growth prospects in Western European countries and emerged markets are uh, somewhat less optimistic than they had been over recent years. Uh, and so it's, it's natural to see funds uh, looking towards markets that can offer uh, greater growth prospects and have the sort of underlying fundamentals that are very attractive to private equity funds. Uh, well, clearly the domestic funds are very well placed for a certain category of deal and uh, being well connected, knowing management teams, knowing the institutions, uh, is clearly a, a, a strong ticket to being successful in closing deals. Um, anything of a certain size is going to attract the big players um, who are looking to deploy large amounts of capital, which puts them in a league of, of their own, and particularly when you're looking at the possibility of leverage transactions. Um, as I said, you know, growth is, is uh, clearly an important uh, attraction um, for the market. So yeah, we're, we're currently working <coughs> on, a, on a transaction which is, has got all the big players interested. And um, uh, you know, I, I think that's inevitably going to be the case of deals of a certain size. But um, it's, it's horses for courses. And uh, I think if funds uh, stick to their uh, I initial investment propositions, then there's, there's room for uh, you know, a large number of funds to carry on transacting successfully. Well, European-wide, um, it, it would be nice to get the millstone of the Eurozone crisis label off from around our necks. Um, certainly when one's looking at capital that comes over from the US, uh, it's almost a binary view about Europe. Uh, we can see that with um, you know, outside the private equity industry, with, with, with uh, clients who you know, listed companies who have major parts of their business in Europe who are saying that the valuations being attributed to those businesses are, um, are uh, depressed to too great an extent because of the perception of the Eurozone crisis, when in fact you look at the fundamentals of the underlying business, they're doing very well. So I, I think there's a lot about that perception. If we could get rid of that, that would be, uh, that would be great. Uh, there is a lot of capital on the sidelines. Um, there is debt available, but for, for selected deals and for selected sponsors. And we're, we're seeing, I think, very much a return on the sponsor front to a kind of relationship banking rather than a deal by deal. Um, uh, 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 approach to uh, closing transactions. Um, so yes, hopefully things will change for the better over the short term. Maybe the US election will uh, you know, settle some nerves and allow people to sort of focus on, on other as uh, aspects of the markets as well.